Oh, okay. So guys, it did kind of get some resources, but the reason why we needed to start this early was because, well, over here, yeah, uh, there's something behind me, that's why I don't want to show you. First, let's get some food. Um, I got tons of iron because of a cave over here. Not that one. I think it was over here. I'll find it again eventually. Maybe it was on the other side, but this is why. So, <coughs> these are the trees I kind of want. Building these. I imagine them to be bigger, sadly, but eventually we'll have a whole forest of these, and yeah, um, I don't want these trees though, so I'm thinking of tearing these down, so I'll just do that with you. Um, actually no, I'll just I'll tear that down on my own, and then grow some more trees and see what they are from there, and get some more saplings, because I almost have enough for another big tree. <gasps> Wait, speaking of another big tree. And saplings. Oh, hey, look, is that the cave? Yeah, this is the cave. Do I have any saplings left? No. All right, well, let's just tear this down so we can get any. And if we do, that'll be awesome because it'll be on tape. <laughs> so you just need to put uh, spruce saplings in a two by two area, and then they will grow into a giant tree. Darn. Okay, well, I'll be back when I tear that one tree down that looks like a Christmas tree. <gasps> Idea for Christmas, Mr. Sheep. Idea for Christmas. <coughs> All right, so. Okay, so if you want to know the quickest way to actually tear down these kind of trees for like the jungle too, is to create a staircase going up to them and just stand in the middle and chop them but then once you get towards the bottom you just basically chop it down like this and that's pretty quick so there we'll hold the whole entire tree out we'll get tons of saplings from that and then maybe we'll start building a little that could be like um i don't know we'll turn on to something in a second but yeah this is how much wood we got including the wood i had before but that is quite a bit and here we go already got dang okay <laughs> I'll put maybe the tree. I don't want it to be like directly to the side where it's even and lined up. I mean, even though it'll be helpful for bridges, I just think that it'll be cooler to have like diagonal bridges and just trees everywhere. And surprisingly, these trees grow fast. And I don't mean fast, I just mean fast. So let's probably create one like. Right here. <gasps> Not saplings. No worry, I'll probably get tons of saplings from this one. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, let's start building. Do we want to do it out of spruce wood? Or oak? We can do like oak, um, uh, sort of, what is it, floors and then like spruce kind of fences and uh, logs and stuff like that. So let's just get some resources for this. Okay, so I was seriously just mining a couple of trees. I got 58 oak logs and then I come back and look at this. Look at this. So if anything, I want to start on this one because it's like the lowest and then we can have staircases going up maybe although no this should be the central one so we can have it like branch off to there 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 it's coming nighttime already all right well let's just we don't need any of the oak logs let's just create all the planks we can boom let's uh create tons of ladders too I forgot, where do you make ladders? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry if I sound a little weird, I'm... I wouldn't say I'm sick, I'm just not really feeling too well. There we are. So, yeah. Um... 
I would really be cool if you could like put it in the middle, but I guess we can't. Well, let's uh, work on this that day so we can see. And later we can go to night. Oh, we don't want these to despawn. Let's just take these. I'm kind of hoping to get another one of those trees just for the resources I can get from it. Alright. Jeez, it is cold. <laughs> um, so here we go. First of all. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. We're gonna create some slabs for the base. Alright. How much space do I want to have left? We can go higher, I would say. Up to there, so when we're standing, we have about four blocks of space. Yeah, we're a little high for the other buildings too, so that works. And... Come on. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking of creating like a circle. I'm kind of inspired by Endor, so <laughs> let's just go and do that real quick. Yeah, I know I'm gonna, there's holes right there, but I'll fix that later. By later, I mean like soon. Um, so the platforms are actually going to be quite decently large. I mean, it may look a little weird from below. But hey, it's a giant tree. It can't get any better. I mean, actually, it can. Like, we can turn one into a Christmas tree. Oh, you know what? That'd be cool, too. And then, like, I could clear out that area. And we could just have that whole wheat farm. And we could just stand here and look at our wheat farm. Or we could have, like, a tree. Or you have, like, a wheat farm outlook. I like bread more. Oh. I like bread more than any other. Um, I don't know why. Even though it's actually the most difficult to get bulk on, it's just because... I don't know. I just like bread. Maybe because it's old. It's been in the Minecraft community for a while. I don't know. So, for this, maybe we could have, like, a spiral staircase going up. I don't know, but let's create a crafting table up here. Don't want to touch the this at all. So, we can put the crafting table. Okay, you know what? We need to expand this more. Um, so I'll be back when I expand it. Sorry for all the cuts. I'm just trying to cut down on my video time. Because I want to get a lot of stuff done in this video. So, yeah. Okay, so I expanded the platform a little. Let's take a look from underneath. And that's what it would look like. It looks actually really big. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm liking how big it is. Um, let's go see what I was going to do with the fences. So the reason why I have the logs there is just to give it some more taste while you're up here. And do something like that to it. And then same over here. Like so. And then we could like. Mm, I'm not. I don't know. Let's take a look from down below. I'm just going to drop. I don't know. We need some more detail into this. So, so what I'm thinking is going to the dark oak forest. I feel like we should just bring some of the saplings over to create a tree farm right here. Because we basically have every tree in the game except for Acacia here. Even though... Well, actually, we have access to every tree in the game within this land that's on the map. Um, probably... Yeah. And... Here we are. Let's get our stake out. Okay. 
I can barely see why is it dark. <laughs> Again, I'm doing that staircase thing. For these trees, it doesn't really work that well. That's one thing I learned. <coughs> Sorry for that. Oh, because now there's the middle. Did I do something wrong? Or is it just how the trees are set up? Is that a... No. Okay. How much dark oak do we get from one tree? It's actually a good question. I need to like start cleaning up my inventory. Having only the supplies I need. Oh, already got a sapling. 43. That is, wow. And you probably get enough for a sapling too. That's good. Um, does this place have any mushrooms? It does not. Oh, okay, so that's an island I haven't seen yet. I remember seeing a mushroom island and plus the other dark oak forest. Yeah, there's no mushrooms. The other dark forest had tons of different mushrooms. So, yeah. Come on, forest, yay! Okay, on the way back now. Oh, I love how you can see it. That's just really cool. Because if you did like a tree house with these kind of trees, they would look a little weird. They wouldn't look like they fit. But how does our... Eh, I guess it works, right? If we like put trees surrounding it. Here, let's start doing that actually. At least in just one general area. Just so we could get to see how it would look. All right, we'll save eight for the giant trees. Okay, um, let's go up here. Yeah. Okay. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with something. Or. Okay, so just to give some flavor. Well, I always say that. Um, let's just put in this last one. Tear this down. And see how that looks from a distance. It may be too much. Yeah, it's way too much. I know a simpler design that we could do. It's just involving the normal dark oak half slabs. Why am I doing that when I have that set up? So let's tear these down. Tear this down, actually. I think spruce seems like it's a darker, more saturated color. I don't know. That could just be me. So we could have like that stick out right there, put something right there, and do something like that. That would give it some detail. Yeah, I like that. But just on like two sides, not all three, or not all four. And I actually don't think I need it. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it on this side. So, bada bing bada bong. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, we'll just pile up. And boom. Okay, so we have one tree done. So, if you look from a distance, yeah, that'll, that'll be good. So now, I feel like moving my bed up there. Probably should have done that at night, but whatever. Mm, speaking of my bed... Oh, cool. We'll leave that open. I saw there was tons of space going up, so I was thinking it's kind of creating a little room up there. 
and it would just like continue from like a side like this. And then we would eat into the tree. Hopefully that won't cause any decaying. So we'll just do stuff like that. Oh, that's dark oak. What am I doing? There we go. I was like, it looks different. And then... Yeah, it may feel a little cramped and stuff, but it's still like a nice little getaway, I would say, for our bed. And I don't want really a bright light, but it'll work like that. Oh, we should probably put torches up here too. So let's just create a little more. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So how does, I wonder how that looks from a distance. Can't wait till I have feather falling boots. All right, it actually looks pretty cool. I'm kind of liking this so far, except the big bulky thing down here. <laughs> I don't know. We could just leave it. Okay. So, what should I do now? Um, so, I'll see you guys when I basically connect two of those together. So, yeah. See you in, like, basically... Okay, guys. So, I am stuck. Like, huh, I don't know what to do with this bridge. Mm, here, let's do something real quick. don't want to use that spruce for sticks, I'll use oak for sticks. And only 33, okay. So... So what we could do is... <laughs> um... Right there, right there there right there right there do something where it goes out like that and then just have it go out like that to connect I have really never built bridges like this, so sorry if they look terrible. <laughs> we'll see how they look from the ground in a second, don't worry. Okay, so what's the ugliness of the it's actually decent we'll keep it, whatever. Um let's see. Gotta finish off the walls. So yeah, um but what could this section over here be? <laughs> I had like a spider. We'll be safe from everything. Wow, we will. That's a plus. And like that. Magically have enough. That is awesome. 
Anyways, I'll be back when I- Alright guys, so sadly, we are out of oak and can't really continue really. So, with that being said, I might just end the video here or we could go on a mining trip. Actually, let's go on a mining trip. This may be a long video. I haven't really checked the time. But yeah, so. Oh. No! Oh. No! <gasps> Why? Okay, that's sad. Um, I don't think I'm using the mic I used yesterday, so it might sound different from the other Let's Play. Oh, we'll fill that hole up later. In the meantime, we have a mining expedition to do. With not much food, that's, uh, that's not smart. So, let's come over here, grab the rest of our food, smelt the rest of that food. So, when we come back, it'll be all ready. Can't wait for this force to be done. It should all be done. Basically, those the three trees and a whole forest by the next episode. That I can guarantee. I said I was going to do a whole bunch of resources last episode, and I have like none. But that's because I mean, a a big tree grew, and I was excited. So let's go down here. I have basically all our building supplies. Not smart. Whatever. So I basically explored, uh, yeah, this was the dead end. So this, I haven't gone through at all. Here's the end. This is where I stopped. So, yeah, sorry, I was, <gasps> diamond. Hey, look at that, I see diamond. See, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is diamond down there. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> all right. This is dangerous. Oh my. Well, do. Oh god. Oh. Hey, zombie. <laughs> gold. I barely saw gold. So you guys can't see much, I think. Which isn't that good. I was hoping for like a cave system, not really a ravine. Not fond of ravines, but let's see. You could probably get down there from like here. So let's just start mining down. Coal, which means it's probably like right here. Any second now. Okay, let's just dig straight and see if we can find it. think so found it <laughs> um, and there goes a the call um, all right well actually this should be the end of the video right here it's getting a little long than I wanted it to and yeah, we'll just end it here. Next, we'll go on a mining trip. So, yeah. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, iron lapis. We can enchant. All right, we'll see you guys next episode. Please leave a like if you um, enjoyed this. If you haven't already, subscribed. And leave a comment if you want on any suggestions, uh, ideas for the base, and what future episodes should hold. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.